Hi, hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I've done this tutorial on how I get my hair looking like this. If you guys can see, hope you guys can see. Um, but yeah, so basically I, in my last video, I done a makeup look and I was wearing this hair. I posted it over on my Instagram, Snapchat, just my social medias and so many people want to see a hair tutorial. Now, disclaimer, I am not a hairdresser. Don't know nothing about hair i'm not good at hair but you guys want to see it so here we are um, using my beauty works clippings if you are not an extension wearer this still works for you you just don't have to really do the extension part of the video but if you've got clipping extensions and want to know how to do it without seeing any clips or anything then just keep on watching So I've actually got my hair a few days old now and um, I find that this actually works best with my personal hair when it is not freshly washed purely because my hair is very soft and um, so try to like, maintain a cuddle is quite hard um, but my hair doesn't really do much anyway because I don't really have much of it so yeah now I'm going to show you how I do this with clip-in extensions if you're not a clip-in extension leader or have long enough hair or want to do this with your short hair or whatever kind of hair you do if you do not have extensions Obviously, this part of the video doesn't apply to you, but if you want to put in your clip-ins or anything like that, then this is how I do it. So, I use the Beauty Works Deluxe 3 Weft Clip-ins. Now, this is shade Barley Blonde, but I've gotten it toned to match my own hair. Um, I'll link them down below, but I actually only use two wefts in this whole look. Um, I've got quite fine hair, actually, so... I don't need too much thickness to blend in my own hair um, but I'm just going to show you how I attach them so that when I pop my hair half up half down you don't actually see the clips and things. So I'm actually in the pack you get a five, I think it's a five clip weft, a four clip weft and a three clip weft. So I don't use the five as it's too big for my little head um, so I use the four weft and the three weft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush these through Make sure they're not knotted or anything before applying them. These are obviously real hair, so you can't cuddle, straighten, tone, everything to them. Um, they are a bit on the pricey side, but for good quality hair extensions that you can do anything with, I highly recommend them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to section off my hair. Now I'm going to aim for this top part of my ear. So I'm just going to go right the way around and section that. Now, bear in mind, I'm not a hairdresser. My mum is, so I just kind of try and pick up tips as I go along, but no, I am not a hairdresser. So I'm just going to take this, twist it, and have a butterfly clip or a bobble or just something to keep this out of your way, and just clip that up at the top like so. So I'm going to now take my comb and I'm just going to back comb the root of where the extensions will be going. I've got really fine hair so the extensions slide out really easily if I don't back comb them. And then I just like to give them a wee spray with hair spray. I'm using the Silhouette um, Pure Formula Invisible Hold from Swartzkopf. This is amazing, it is super hold and it will not budge, it just does not budge. So taking my four clip weft, opening up all the clips and I'm just going to flip this around. And I'm going to start by attaching the ends. So I prefer to go from ear all the way around and clip it down. And then I do the one next to it, making sure that it's flat. You don't want any bumps because any bumps will like show the clips. Clip. So I've got that on the whole way around. Not the neatest because I can't see the back of my head, but you've just kind of got to get used to it with practice. Then I'm going to take this down, brush through. Now look at the back of my head, you can't see them clips or anything. Now I'm going to use, that's all I use for the bottom part of my hair. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to middle part the top section of my hair or side part. Whatever part you usually wear, this is how I get the fringe pieces. Um, 
basically you could do this without and slick the whole lot back that's what i was actually meant to do when i first wore this hair but i quite like the fringe being down just to give my face some framing and just section off however much of a fringe you want to show so pull it back that way And it doesn't matter as long as you then line up and you should have a section like so then i just take a wee bobbles just to keep that out of the way just for the time being and um, this looks a bit ridiculous but it's just the way i eat, find it easiest okay that's not one to work today. But. And what I do next is I brush the rest of the hair backwards. So I just focus on getting this back. And then I am going to section off this halo part here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just ignore my roots as well. They're absolutely crazy. So I section off a part and then I go half through. And then let the front section fall back down. That's a bit of hair that will cover the extension. I'm going to do this the most awkward way. You can ease in like pop some dry shampoo in if you find that easier to get some texture to your hair or if your hair's a few days old. But because I know mine's mainly extensions, I don't have to worry. Now I'm just going to back comb this section here. attach it the same way so I'm going to go I'm going to go straight into the middle of this one because it's a three clip weft and pop it into the places where you just back combed the reason I'm doing this is literally because it's the only way to get the hair into the clipping pony and then I'm just going to Flick that back. Now, you also couldn't go out with them like this. This is just, as I say, to get it half up, half down. Um, but yeah, so that is the clip-ins now applied. Now, for those who don't have clip-in extensions, this is where the actual hairstyle starts. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to refine my parting and split. And find a section of how much hair I want. Again, this is totally personal preference. Um, I like quite a messy look, but if you want something more sleek, then you could totally adapt this. And then clip it. I feel like I'm always looking down, but it's literally just because my, my um, mirror's there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to section off the hair. So my clips are at the top of my ear, so I want to make sure there's hair covering the clips. I like to go at this edge tail of my eyebrow and go up and round. Like this makes sure that there's no clip showing, as you can see. There's no clip showing and that the top clipping is now in place. So I'm going to then take my tangle teaser and get this onto the top of my head. I'm probably doing this the most difficult and awkward and back to front way. There were so many people saying, Robin, you could just do it this way, but <laughs> it's fine. So I just work it towards the front of my head. Now, I quite like to have my ponytail quite high because I find that as soon as I put in my bobble, the pon ponytail slacks back a bit. So I like to kind of aim it literally towards like this part in line, just so that it sits on the top of my head. So when you take photos of things, you can see it and it doesn't slip backwards. I use the Invisible Bubbles, by the way. Um, I just use these because when I wore bonded hair extensions all the time, I use these all the time, so I just got used to having them. Now I'm just going to take this out for now. Powering it down the middle. Again, mine's not exactly the neatest. Um, 
because I know that I'm going to curl it. You can always leave this straight as well, like um, if you were more precise with it. Now I'm just going to pull forward these sections. Again, it's just because I like it looking messy and it makes me look like I've got more hair than what I do, so yes. Like so. I actually clip this up before I curl my hair. It's just so that I'm not putting heat on sections of my hair that don't need it. Um, I don't. I like to minimise the amount of heat I pop on my hair purely because I am blonde at the moment and it snaps your hair. So <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my heat protecting spray. I'm going to be using the Tresme Heat Defence um, Spray with Care and Protect Seals and Shine. Um, I just use whatever one I can get a hold of. I use this on the extensions as well because obviously even though they are human hair, they are not getting the oils that your natural hair gets. So obviously your natural hair gets more oils to kind of protect it but extensions don't. So it's really important you look after your clip-ins to get the most use out of them. So I'm just going to comb them through and I'm just going to comb up any flyaways. Now I'm not hairspraying this section just yet because obviously I've still got some tonging and things to do. And I'm just going to split my head into two sections. This is the easiest way I find to do it. Um, but again, this is quite like a messy look so it doesn't have to be too precise. Now I'm going to be using my Babless Pro um, styling tool. Now this is actually a tong, but I don't use the tong, I use the barrel as a wand. I know it sounds so stupid and I have the wand version of this, but I don't know what it is. I just find this a lot easier. Um, I've got it on the 25 temperature setting, basically, but I'll link the one down below that says because I can't remember what size of barrel I've got, so yeah. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pick how curly I want this. So I kind of like my curls kind of being concentrated from like here below. I don't like them being too high up, but the longer the clip-in extensions you use, the higher up you're going to have to curl to make your hair blend. So I am just going to take a section close to the face and I'm going to do over and under. So I use quite big sections purely just because I want quite big waves. And I'm just going to go over the barrel, under the barrel, over the barrel, under the barrel, over, under, and hold. I should probably wear my glove for this, but let's reveal who actually does. And I'm just going to hold it. And then I'm going to pop my hand at the bottom of the barrel and catch the cuddle a bit. Now, get it down. I'm going to use the same hairspray as I used before and spray it whilst it's cooling. The reason I spray it is so it holds its cuddle, if you can see. Perfect, and then I always do the ones closest to the face over then under, and then I do the rest under then over. Kind of just flip it around, do some outwards, some inwards, that sort of thing. If you actually notice, because my natural hair is quite a lot shorter, than my clippings, I don't end up really curling my own hair apart from the fringe pieces, purely because I think that's how you see the, like, see the join. I prefer to curl like my extensions, hence why I put in the extensions first and then I style around them. And that's one side done. I kind of just curl bits and then I like play about and add some more curls after. And now I'm just gonna do the same on this side. like this. I'm probably holding this all the wrong way but I find this works. My extensions as well, I don't know if I've mentioned, these are actually the 22 inch length. I probably should have took a 20 but my hair did used to be longer so yeah. And then I'll just throw that to the back so it's out of my way. I always make sure that my hair is flat when it goes around the barrel. That just means that you get like a really even cuddle as well. Straight parts, which there shouldn't be. Then, yeah. So, ponytail. 
Now, I basically do the same thing for the ponytail. I'm just going to brush through it a bit just so it's not knotty. And I split it into two halves. And again, I'm going to do the front section and I'm going to do this away from the face. Like so. And then I'm going to do the back section the opposite way. <laughs> I to think just now what way did I do it? Carefully you don't burn your hands as well. But you should probably wear a glove. But me being me, of course, I never start with. And again, split this into two sections. done I'm just gonna spray the ponytail and make sure there's no areas that are straight and then I'm gonna do my fringe so I'm just gonna call my fringe just to make sure that it's where I want it I have like some baby hair snappage but that's just with being blonde so hands by I don't really like to tall that area too much I kind of just like to do from about here down so because I want it away from the face I'm going to do it over the barrel and then under the barrel and I'm just doing the very end so I'm not snapping the top parts of my hair the reason I do these like this is because I end up brushing them out anyway and it's just to kind of frame my face like I won't keep them looking like this and then I'm going to do this side this side always seems to go like better for some reason but me now me knowing now that I've said that, it probably won't. <laughs> and then I take them out. So, they look a bit stupid. And I'm just gonna spray them for the time being. Right, so, hair is looking quite cuddled and quite set. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my tangle teaser and I'm going to brush the curls out. So I use my Tangle Teaser, brush them out first, and then I go in sometimes with a comb if I want them more smooth or more brushed out. The reason I brush them out is because I think it gives it a softer kind of look, um, but I always use a Tangle Teaser, so I never use a normal hairbrush on my hair anymore. You can see how much bouncier they look as well. Making sure you're getting all the sections of curled hair. They are just quite wavy, but I suppose if you want them more curly, you could just leave them. The front section here, I'm going to use my comb just because it is a smaller section. It's easier to control if I use my comb. I like to back comb it a wee bit as well. Just to give some shape. And give some bounce of my roots. Okay, now what I'm going to do is this is totally optional. I'm going to take a wee piece of hair and wrap it around the invisible bubble just because, like, also the invisible bubbles are, um, they're meant to be invisible, but they aren't really. Um, so I just wrap it around just to finish it off. You could even put like a little scrunchie inside of the invisible bubble, and then that would mean that, like, You've got something else in your hair, and then I'm just gonna grip that down. And then I'm gonna spray the whole lot. So I'm gonna spray all my flyaways here. Um, I've got quite a lot of flyaways, so I've got quite a lot of broken hair, but that is just through having bonded, ex bonded extensions in the past. Um, if anybody really wants to know, it's from having a wee, like about a year ago. Um, so yeah. Little bits I can see need recurled or anything. If you want the ponytail to stick up a wee bit more, you can just back comb it at the root. Yeah, this is the finished hairstyle, and you can't see any clips or anything. 
it's just so easy and if you don't have any extensions this is super easy to do as well um so yeah i hope you guys like guys liked this video it was so highly impressive as soon as i put the photos of my last makeup look on instagram and snapchat and all my different social medias everyone was like we need a hair tutorial so hair tutorial is what you've got again i'm not a hairdresser by no means um i am not a professional in hair i hardly really know what i'm doing but i've given a go to show you how i do it again i'll link all the products that i've used below including shades of hair extensions and lengths and yeah I hope you guys like this video and if you liked it, subscribe down below, smash the thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye!